I thought I'd do a quick book vlog to chat a little bit about what I'm reading and what books I've gotten in recently. Um, I don't buy a lot of books. Um, I haven't been for a couple of years because I'm trying to get through my actual books that I already have in my possession. And of course, uh, as a book blogger and reviewer, books come into me all the time. Well, not all the time, but they come into me a fair amount, so it keeps piling up instead of going down. But if I hit a mark, like a benchmark, then I get to treat myself to a new book. And I did that recently. And um, I got The Festival of San Joaquin by Z. Edgel. Z. Edgel is a Belizean writer who died very recently. I've been fortunate to meet Z. Edgel um, when she came to Antigua for a literary festival. And she was such a warm, calming spirit. And um, I should have read her before now. She's most known for her book, Becca Lamb. But um, I'm glad that I'm reading this one because it's really, uh, her style is so hypnotic and her character is so, her main character is so vibrant and so nuanced and so, I mean, she's somewhat of an unreliable narrator, it seems to be at this point, because she, even she's not sure of what's real and what's dream and all of that. There's a section where she says, um, during the time I was in prison, it became difficult for me to distinguish memory from dreams from fantasy. Oh, I just, just moments like that, just, I love the reading of it so far. I only recently started reading it. Um, the character, we kind of jump right into her story, into why she landed in prison and, um, and sort of um, navigating backwards to her journey, even as the story moves forward to what happens now that she's, you know, in this point in her life and, and it starts at a pivotal point in her her story. So it's, it's just really interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Enjoying is the wrong word. Like I said, it's just a hypnotic read. It's not a pleasant, um, journey for the character but it is a hypnotic and engaging read the festival of san joaquin i'm not done with it i'm only 30 something pages in but right already i would recommend it by z edgel or just read z edgel if you're interested in reading more diversity and reading more caribbean authors she's a good place to start i'm also reading this one i plucked from my um my sister's bookshelf when i was house sitting because I thought it would be an easy distraction. Um, Faye Kellerman, um, Cold Case, a Peter Decker and Rena Lazarus thriller. Faye and her husband, Jonathan Kellerman, a sort of like comfort food reads of mine in the sense that, in a way that Law and Order kind of, you just watch episode after episode after episode. It's similarly a crime procedural um, with characters that become familiar to you. And so it's almost like checking in with them. Um, in, in Faye's case, Peter Decker and his wife, Rena Lazarus, and their daughter, now Cindy. Um, so it's just, it's, uh, uh, right now it's kind of coming to the climax. I'm actually almost done, though it did take me longer than I anticipated. Um, but yeah, there's now, I'm at the point where there's like a, a, a police stakeout, not a stakeout, what do you call it, when a hostage negotiation sort of situation happening. And the other thing I'm excited to share, the last thing I'm excited to share is this little publication, Skin Deep. I love the cover. Love the cover. Um, Skin Deep is a magazine produced in the UK, is, and this issue, Is This the End, has three poems of mine and actually was published ooh, a year ago now. Yeah. Um, given that we're living in covid times it's taken me this long to get it to a combination of you know um the the post office can be inefficient and and unreliable in the best of times and covid has not assisted with that but i finally got it um 
It was kind of a hassle actually to get it. Even when when it was, you know, when I did go to get it. But you know what? Focusing on the positive, I got skin deep. I'm so excited to read it cover to cover to discover all these writers. And I will just share. Why not? Yeah, I'll end by sharing a little bit of my writing in Skin Deep. I'm excited about this because I don't write I don't have a lot of confidence in terms of my poetry um, because I think of myself as a fiction writer, but I have published some poetry and they accepted three of my poems for publication. Which one should I read? Grandmother and Child, Weather Patterns, Waste Not. I guess I'll read the shortest one. <laughs> The shortest one is weather patterns and it goes, the wind is restless, it stirs up the trees, the rain slices into the day, sudden and angry. She is soaked and shivering by the time she's finished bringing the clothes in. Weather patterns. So that's a little bit of my poetry in Skin Deep. Uh, thanks for tuning into this little uh, book vlog just to catch up on what's going on with my reading. I am um, Jo Hadley, Joanne Seahill House writer from Antigua and Barbuda. You can, um, I'll put links in the comments in terms of where else you can find me around the interwebs but till then, bye.